Hey, look at that. We happen to have another Porsche engine lying around. We've already put one in the Beetle. Let's put this one in the Samba bus. Once that's done, let's take it for a nice peaceful cruise in the German countryside. To test our newly tuned Samba bus, we're taking it home, back to Germany, and over to the ring, where we'll be putting it up against Europe's finest, and a couple of accidental American cars. Right about now, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, that shitty van is actually handling decently. And that comes down to a couple of things. Number one is the suspension. And number two is the gearing. Now, you can throw this car around quite a bit, except in second, where you've got to have a little bit of a feather touch. If that's tough for you, then short shift to third. Because of the power curve, you're not going to lose too much on it anyway. And it's better to be safe. Unfortunately, there is a downside to this tune, and that will come into play a little bit later in the race. That downside that we're talking about is high-end speed, where the car just seems to run out of power at about 220 km per hour. Maybe it's because the front's a box. I don't know, but that's what happens. What is it with these red alphas causing all these hassles this race? Okay, that doesn't make too much sense right now, but it will, give it time. Currently, we're about halfway through the grid, and going strong, but we've got to get to the lead, and we've got to get there quick, because these supercars are going to eat us alive on the straight, so we have to build a bit of distance to hold them off, or else we're going to lose. Turns out I was mistaken, we're more than halfway through the grid, because, you see that Alpha up ahead? Yeah, that's first place, and once we take him, we can focus on increasing our lead, so that we've got a chance when that straight comes around. With the pressure mounting, first makes a mistake and falls out of the carousel. This allows us to pull alongside, and by the next corner, we've taken that spot from him. Now we need to focus on increasing our lead, and the trouble is, Gran Turismo AI always speeds up when they get overtaken, so we're going to have to push extra hard to get the lead that we require. During the race, I'm constantly looking up at the top left to see the split between first and second slowly increase. I really want to get it up to about six so I can survive that straight because I know how much faster these cars are. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Now for the million dollar question, did we get enough of a lead? Nah, crap, I guess not. Now we've got to push the Volkswagen as hard as it is capable of going, so we can catch up the first. We make good ground, and on the final corner, we hail Myriad on the inside, taking the lead and claiming victory.
Now as usual, we're back to the garage to take a look at the tune. So, pause, take screenshots, whatever you do best to get the information. I really hope you love the tune, it's a ton of fun. As usual, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed any of it, please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Bye!